Hey everybody, it's Brian. I want to talk today about how bamboo grows. This is a question that I end up explaining a lot to visitors to my house and folks asking about how the bamboo works and wanting to put some in their own yard. So let me talk through how bamboo grows. It's different than a lot of plants that you might be used to. And it's important to understand it if you're thinking about putting bamboo in your yard. First, let's differentiate between clumping versus running bamboo. These are two main types or categories of bamboo. Clumping bamboo grows generally in a clump. Think about it if you put in or created a small circle of this bamboo. As that bamboo grows, the clump is just going to get a little bit larger. The diameter of the circle is going to increase every time the bamboo grows. The running bamboo grows by runners that shoot out from the roots in all different directions. And these runners can go a few feet to a few yards, so anywhere from half a meter to a couple of meters. And from those runners, shoot out new bamboo shoots. That's important to understand that because typically the clumping bamboo is a little bit easier to manage, takes a little bit less work, there's a little bit less danger of it getting out of control. Although even with a lot of the running variety, as long as you stay on top of your maintenance, which isn't that much, running bamboo can be just fine and, and not that difficult to manage as well. Now, when you get mature bamboo that's already gone through its growth cycle, the bamboo that you get, the shoots that you have are not going to grow any taller. Okay. Bamboo grows for a very short period of time and then stops growing. Think about a person. You grow in your adolescence. Once you hit 18 ish, you stop growing. Bamboo is very similar. It has a very short growth cycle. Once it gets done with that growth cycle, it never grows again. Okay. Now, what bamboo has that's different. From a person is it has a growth cycle every year and new shoots are created okay when those new shoots are created if your bamboo is shorter than the maximum possible height for the type of bamboo that you have new shoots are going to be a little bit taller than the existing bamboo now how tall your bamboo is going to get depends a lot on the variety it also depends on the growing conditions. Are you giving it good water? Does it have fertilizer and nutrients? Do you have it in a container or not in a container? Is it getting the sunlight that it needs? All of those things are going to be factors in what is the theoretical maximum height for the bamboo in your yard. So let's look at an example of bamboo that's in my yard and talk through this a little bit. This is scabrida bamboo. Its maximum height in perfect conditions in the ground is around 12 feet, about three and a half to four meters. That's the maximum height of this bamboo in perfect growing conditions. Now, when I bought it, it was about six feet, close to two meters tall. I put it in a container, which means it's only probably going to grow to around nine to 10 feet tall, but it still has a few feet to grow before it gets to its maximum height. Now in the springtime, new shoots came out and you can see here, all of the new shoots are these darker shoots that you see above the main body of where all the leaves are. So all of these new shoots are about a foot taller than the existing clump. They're not gonna get any taller than this. These are done growing for this year, but they're about a foot taller than what was here before. Now what will happen is next year, I'll get more shoots in the spring and those shoots will grow about a foot taller than the new shoots that I got from this year. And it will continue to grow like that and get taller and taller each year until it gets to about nine feet, uh, somewhere between two and a half to three meters tall. Now these new shoots came out on March 12th. That was the first day that I noticed them. And it took about two months to get to their height that they are now and, and the height that these shoots will stay at for the rest of their lives. Every bamboo type is different. And so depending on the type that you have, it could be a couple of weeks that it goes from brand new shoot to fully grown. It could take a couple of months. But for this type, it was about two months to go from brand new to as big as this year's shoots are going to grow. It's important to understand as well that these new shoots are very soft. 
Bamboo is known as a very hard wood. It's used to make floors and desks and all kinds of things that require really hard wood. But these new shoots are very soft and very easy to break. So when you have new shoots growing, you want to be very careful when you're around your bamboo. And personally, I don't do any work around the bamboo at all when new shoots are growing because you could bump one and it's going to break. Uh, they're very soft at this stage. Another thing you want to not do at this time when you've got new shoots growing, do not trim and do not try and divide your bamboo because all of these new shoots are being fed from the existing shoots. And if you go in and do anything to damage the existing shoots, the new shoots will suffer. So I learned this, unfortunately, the hard way the first year that I had it. And new shoots were popping up. I was like, man, look at all this bamboo. Let me divide it. And I started cutting it up into pieces. About 70% of the new bamboo shoots that I had straight died. They just fell over and collapsed, stopped growing completely, didn't grow any leaves or branches or anything. They just died. The remaining 30% were all very stunted. You can see here, if you look at the space between each of the nodes in the bamboo, these are very short. These were stunted because I went in and I cut some of the existing bamboo while these were baby shoots and still trying to grow. So if you want your bamboo to grow and you have new shoots coming in, don't do anything to the bamboo, even the existing shoots, while those new shoots are growing. So this growing cycle will happen every year. From where your bamboo is at, if it's not at its max height, new shoots are gonna grow in. Those new shoots are gonna be a little bit taller than what you have. They will harden, branches will grow, leaves will grow, and then next year, the process will repeat itself. New shoots are gonna grow in. If that bamboo is still not at its max height, it's gonna grow a little bit taller than the previous year, and it will continue to do that year after year until it reaches its maximum height for your conditions and the variety that you have. After that point, you'll continue to get new shoots. They're just not gonna get any taller. Each year, more shoots will grow. They'll go to that max height and be as tall as, as they're gonna get. But again, they, they only grow for that short period in the spring, and then they will not ever, those shoots will not ever grow again. So that's really it. Those are the differences with how bamboo grows versus most other plants grow. I will add to bamboo has a bad reputation. It's one of those things that people either love it or hate it. A lot of people seem to hate it. I will tell you, as long as you take care of it, it's, it's very easy to grow. And it doesn't actually require a lot of maintenance where you hear these horror stories of bamboo growing and taking over and it's ruined a yard or whatever. That's usually bamboo that has sat and been neglected for years, not been properly taken care of, not been properly trimmed. And yes, if you neglect bamboo for 10 years in the ground, it's going to go all over the place and be pretty problematic. Now I have currently about 40 feet of bamboo in my backyard and I spend about two hours a year maintaining it and it stays where it should be and it doesn't take very long to maintain it and it creates a great privacy screen. It does grow really fast. The varieties that I have are evergreen. I have koi bamboo, which is a runner. I have the scabbard bamboo, which is a clumper. Uh, I do have a little bit of golden bamboo as well, which is very similar to the koi bamboo. I only spend a few hours a year taking care of it, and it's evergreen. It's very cold hardy as well. The koi bamboo goes to zero Fahrenheit, about negative 17, 18 C, similar with the uh, shorter scabbard of bamboo that I have. Very cold hardy. I don't ever do anything to it. It just sits out here happy, stays green all winter, um, and provides a great screen. You can hedge it, you can shape it, you can do all kinds of stuff to it. Just because it doesn't grow after that growing cycle, you cut it once after the new shoots grow in, you don't have to trim it again until next year's new shoots grow in. So don't believe all the FUD, don't believe the hate. Bamboo is a great option. Make sure that you know what you're getting into, that you understand what you're buying, and that you do the little bit of maintenance each year to keep it under control, and it will do great things for you. If you have any questions about anything I covered, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. 
like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on growing tropical and subtropical looking plants in cold weather environments.